warned parents against buying Hatchimal's bath bombs after believing the product was responsible for her daughter suffering chemical burns. Jennifer Renee, from Louisiana, U.S., posted imagery of her daughter's hand on Facebook after claiming they'd used the Hatchimal toy in the bath. In a post that has now been shared 130,000 times, Jennifer Renee wrote, Do not buy this for your children. Followed directions on package and placed in her bathtub. Thought it would be fun for her because there was a toy inside. After being in the water 30-45 seconds she stated her skin was hurting. Upon looking she has received a chemical burn from a kid's bath bomb. Apostrophe no she was not holding it and she has used multiple different kinds of bath bombs and never had this reaction, just a warning people. In an update she added, I called the company and the batch number being investigated and is likely going to be recalled as numerous reports have been made, not all the burning reaction she got. It is so easy for a person working in a factory to overdo the ingredients in a batch and just ignore it. Went to the doctor this morning and it was in fact a chemical burn not a reaction. I am posting this just in hopes people will monitor closely. Everyone loves bath bombs. Lesson learned. All natural ones from now on. Some parents rushed to comment saying their children had experienced a similar reaction. I saw your post about the bath bomb, my daughter's face looked like your daughter's hands, commented one mum. Another added, um guy bought one of these for my son for Christmas. Not going to use it now. However plenty of others commented to say they'd bought the product and had no problems, with one saying, not everyone will have the same reaction. I know kids who didn't have any problems. Okay. Online has contacted toy manufacturer Spin Master for comment. A spokesperson for Spin Master told HuffPost UK. Spin Master was made aware of the situation via Facebook post and we're in the process of looking into the matter with the licensee company to whom Spin Master licensed the Hatimals brand. We are saddened to learn about a young girl's injuries. That said, it would be premature to comment further on the situation until we learn more. We are working closely with the product's licensed manufacturer and distributor to determine whether there are any product issues. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.